fire? Coffee black. One coffee black. Hey, uh, didn't you, uh, what I mean is, didn't you go out on that bus? I did indeed. Oh, yes, I went out on that bus. And you know something? That bridge wasn't safe. It collapsed. The state police car, the bus, everything. Kaplunk, right into the river. It was a terrible scene. No one got out. Except you. Except me. <laughs> lucky, I guess, huh? Very lucky. But, but... But what? You're not even wet. Wet? What's wet? What do you mean, what's wet? You landed in the river, but your clothes are all dry. Illusion, that's all. Just an illusion. Like that jukebox playing in the corner. That's an illusion, too. Or uh, that telephone ringing. That's an illusion. Just a parlor trick. What are you, some kind of magician? <laughs> Who, me? Oh, hardly. Now, uh, before you uh, faint dead away, I ought to explain that the name isn't really Ross. And uh, I wasn't really going to Boston. Now, I was sent as a kind of advanced scout. You know these uh, cigarettes, do you call them? They taste wonderful. We haven't got a thing like this on Mars. That's incidentally where I come from. We're beginning to colonize. My friends will be arriving very shortly. I think they're going to like it here. It's a lovely area. So... so remote, so pleasant, so off the beaten track. Just the perfect spot for a colony, don't you think, Mr. Haley? While we're uh, waiting, how about a little what you call music? I don't mind. I have to do a little waiting myself. You see, Mr. Ross, my name isn't Haley. And I do agree with you, this is an extraordinary place to colonize. We folks on Venus had the same idea. We got it several years ago. And I think I really ought to tell you now that your friends are not coming. They've been intercepted. Oh, a colony is coming. But it's from Venus. And if you're still alive, I think you'll see how we differ. And I agree with you about what they call music. Why don't you play some? <laughs> Incident on a small island, to be believed or disbelieved. However, if a sour-faced dandy named Ross, or a big good-natured counterman who handles a spatula as if he'd been born with one in his mouth, if either of these two entities walk onto your premises, you better hold their hands, all three of them, or check the color of their eyes, all three of them. The gentleman in question might try to pull you into the Twilight Zone. <laughs>